Recently, if you've been following NBA basketball, you might have noticed an increase in intensity. Trace Jackson Davis. Oh! He put the entire country of France in the basket! Players are showing greater aggression, coaches are adopting styles reminiscent of their European peers, and overall, the vibe of the games has shifted significantly from the season's outset. Booker with 23. Look at this, a steal by Brown. The shift in energy from the beginning of the season to the present is as profound as the difference between night and day. And if you're curious about the reason for this change, it's because April 14th is nearly upon us. This date marks the final day of the 2024 regular season, signaling that the playoffs are just around the corner. This is the thrilling part of the year where everything is at stake, where narratives unfold and where legends are born. Yet, the reality is that the contest has already kicked off. Some are pursuing the number one seed, others are aiming for advantageous playoff slots, while a handful are scrapping to remain contenders. Today, we'll dive into the exact specifics of the current situation because the truth is, although unofficially, the 2024 NBA playoffs have already begun. Let's dive into the Eastern Conference to kick things off. At the pinnacle of the current standings are the Celtics, towering over the competition. They boast a nine-game lead over their closest rival in the East and a five-game buffer over the leading team in the West. It's evident that the Celtics are poised to secure home court advantage throughout the 2024 playoffs. However, challenges loom before they even reach the postseason battlegrounds. In a recent showdown, they faced a setback against the Denver Nuggets, hinting at a potential finals drama should these powerhouses clash again. Jokic and Porzingis, he spins off him, miss it, oh! Furthermore, the current trajectory suggests a likely face-off with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat in the playoffs, a team that has had the upper hand against the Celtics in two of their last three playoff encounters over four years. Rolling that ankle, that set the tone for the Boston Celtics on the negative side. These signal a clear message. Despite holding the top seed, there's pressing work to be done. The Celtics must fine-tune their strategy and sharpen their game if their aim is to reach the summit of playoff success. As we shift our focus, the Cavaliers and Bucks emerge, entangled in a fierce battle for the second and third seeds. Both teams are expected to advance past the first round, making the upcoming month crucial for securing home court advantage in the semis. While some might underestimate the significance of this advantage, research indicates that having home court advantage in the second round increases a team's chances of winning the series by 4.7 times. The narrative thickens from here. Consider the predicament for Giannis and the Bucks if they were to be defeated in the second round by the Cavaliers. It so rattles home the three-pointer. The acquisition of Lillard had pegged them as frontrunners, yet an early exit would wreak havoc within the organization. Such an outcome could very well lead Giannis to seeking a trade. Conversely, Donovan Mitchell stands on the brink of new territory, having never progressed beyond the second round. Securing the second seed presents him and the Cavaliers with a golden opportunity to gain a significant edge over Giannis and the Bucks in the probable event of a playoff matchup. Back the other way. Crosses over Lopez, steps through. Oh, he put it on a platter. Expect a fierce battle for the Eastern Conference's second seed. Up next is the scramble for the secure playoff positions. The Knicks, Magic, 76ers, Pacers, and Heat are all in a tight race, with just three games separating the fourth place Knicks from the eighth place Heat. This sets the stage for an all out war for the coveted fourth, fifth, and sixth seeds, which guarantees a seat at the postseason table. Injuries to key players mean the Knicks and 76ers have to elevate their game to secure a favorable position. Conversely, the Pacers and Heat, while not without their own issues, have the advantage of having their star players ready for action. And then there's the Orlando Magic, a young and ambitious team that's for all intents and purposes healthy and, in my opinion, the dark horse of the East this season. Nonetheless, all five teams will be putting forth their utmost effort to secure either the fourth or fifth seed, understanding that it might be their best shot at advancing past the first round. The Bulls and Hawks, meanwhile, find themselves in a precarious position caught between contention and irrelevance. It's unlikely they'll climb to the 7th or 8th seed, yet it's also improbable that they'll fall to the 11th seed. 
While anything can happen in the world of sports, their best strategy is to build momentum and aim to have consecutive victories beginning April 16th. This narrative sets the stage for the ongoing battle in the East. Now let's pivot to the brewing chaos awaiting in the West. Initially, the Western Conference's top spot was shaping up to be a fierce three-way fight for dominance. Ultimately, the Timberwolves are likely to fall out of this tight race due to Carl Anthony Towns suffering a knee injury, transforming the contest into a head-to-head -head battle between the two remaining contenders. While it might appear that playoff seeding is of little concern to the seemingly dominant Nuggets, in reality, they perform only modestly better than average on the road. Facing the Thunder in the playoffs without home court advantage could poise a significant challenge, especially considering their 1-3 regular season record against Oklahoma City. Piercing, spinning, hanging for the lead, and SGA knocks it down! It's a battle of inches, but the gap between claiming the number one seed and falling to the number two spot could very well be the decisive factor for Denver in their efforts to carve out a historic legacy once more. The Oklahoma City Thunder, on the other hand, are also aware of what's at stake. Despite their youth, they're brimming with confidence and determined to secure every possible advantage. The home he will fire away and hit the Following the top contenders are the Timberwolves and the Clippers, who have essentially locked in the third and fourth seeds. Rather than exerting themselves for a better playoff position, it would be wise for these teams to prioritize maintaining their health. Yet, I have a hunch Anthony Edwards might not agree with this strategy. And Neesman blocks! Edwards getting up! And good night! His recent performances suggest he's driven by a need to make a statement. I mean, game after game after game, he's looking to be delivering a message along the lines of, Cat may be out, but I'm still here. Shifting focus to the Clippers, they unfortunately lack the youthful advantage that Edwards is capitalizing on. Veterans like Kawhi, Paul George, and Harden have all experienced their fair share of playoff injuries, and given their secured spot in the playoffs, the team's priority should be to prime themselves for a significant playoff run, essentially steering clear of injuries. A minor injury could quickly undo their season's efforts, effectively continuing the notorious Clippers curse. However, beyond the Clippers, the teams ranked 5th to 10th won't have the luxury of focusing solely on health, as they're locked in a fierce battle to keep their playoff hopes alive. Teams like the Pelicans, Kings, Suns, and Mavericks are all vying for the 5th and 6th seeds, and with roughly 15 games left in the season, just a mere one and a half games separates the 5th seeded Pelicans from the 8th seeded Mavericks, which means only one thing. Night after night, we'll witness Zion, Fox, Durant, and Luka pulling out all the stops to dominate anyone standing in their way. In this game, Luka gets through the defenders, powers up, score it! But the truth is, from now through April, the margin between directly qualifying for the playoffs and having to navigate the challenges of the play-in tournament could very well hinge on just one additional win. Wrapping up the Western Conference standings, the Lakers and Warriors are positioned at the 9th and 10th seeds. On a positive note, both teams are likely safe from dropping out of the play-in tournament contention. With the Warriors leading the 11th seed to Rockets by four games and just 17 games remaining in the season, overtaking a Warriors squad led by Steph Curry appears highly unlikely. Yet the challenge for them is significant. Their playoff battle hasn't merely started on an informal basis. It has formally kicked off. In contrast to teams like the Pelicans, Mavericks, or Kings, who can't afford to set their sights on next season if they don't win this year, the Lakers and Golden State are facing a critical juncture with their legacies at stake. For LeBron James and his squad, this season could represent their final opportunity to clinch another championship. Despite LeBron's continued elite performance, time is gradually catching up, inching him closer to the inevitable decline. For Steph Curry and the Warriors, the clocks of time are also rapidly ticking. As number 30 celebrates his 36th birthday, three critical questions are looming behind the scenes. How much longer can this dynasty go on for? How many more MVP caliber seasons does Curry have left in the tank? Will the Warriors' ownership continue to invest heavily into the luxury tax if his team struggles to make the playoffs? With each additional loss the Warriors encounter this season, these questions will only become louder and more significant. As the season heads into its final stretch, each match becomes critically important for both of these teams, and their rivals must prepare for the onslaught. 
because given their pedigree, these could very well be the most formidable ninth and 10th seeds the NBA has ever seen. I mean, when was the last time you saw ESPN spotlighting ninth and 10th seeds with such intensity this deep into the season? When you look at Steph Curry, all right, and the greatness of Steph Curry, and I look at what the pieces around him are doing, yeah, they seem a bit too small, I get it. But when they're making shots, Lord have mercy. At this stage of the season, it's hard to not feel sympathy for the teams out of playoff contention when they go up against those fighting for a spot. Not only are they up against technically superior teams, but these playoff contenders have exponentially more reasons to chase every win. This leads to my final point. Among the 16 teams in this year's playoffs, six have yet to ever secure a championship title. But have you considered which among these teams might be poised to claim their first championship? It's a really interesting scenario, actually, and if you want to know the answer, then make sure to watch this video here, where I analyze all the ins and outs to predict this question.